Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Sue. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with Web GPU graphics programming. In the last video, we discussed how to create the same object multiple times using the instance approach. However, in most cases, we will want to render multiple objects of different shapes. There is an easy way to create different objects if the environment is the same for all objects. That is, we can simply combine all of their respective position, color, normal, and UV data together and render them as a single object. This way, we can use the same code to render multiple objects that we used to render a single object. In this video, I will show you how to render four different 3D surfaces as shown here. Two simple 3D surfaces and two parametric 3D surfaces with both lighting and color map effects in a single scene. This example is based on the project discussed in our video 29. Here, we will use the Git tool to clone the source code used in the video 29. You can see this is a GitHub repository link. From this link, you can download the source code used in WebGPU 29 example. Now we can start Visual Studio Code directly from Windows Start menu. Here, this is a Visual Studio Code interface. Now let's start a new terminal window and CD into code folder and then make a new directory called gpu51 and uh, the new folder was created successfully now cd into it we can then clone the source code used in the uh, video 29 git clone web gpu29 after this command, we leave a space and a period. This will place all our source code in the current folder. So run this command, so we can check derive. So you can see the source code is indeed in this uh, current folder. Now open this folder from Visual Studio Code. Open folder, code. GPU 51 here contains the source code used in the video 29. Now open a new terminal window and run the command npm install to recover the npm packages used in this example. Okay, finished. Now all the installed packages are stored in the node modules folder here. Next, we need to make some changes to the index.html file. From DRSD folder, open this file. First, we need to change the 29 to 51 because this is 51st video. We also need to change H1 title here to multiple different objects. We want to create multiple different objects in a single scene. In this example, we don't need input parameters, so we can remove the code here. Right now, we can save this file. Since in this example, we need to combine respective position, color, 
and normal data together. And these data are created as a floating 32 array type. But the typed array in JavaScript is based on array buffer, which cannot be resized dynamically. So writing code at the end of the array or using the push methods is not allowed. One way to achieve concatenation is to allocate a new floating 32 array, which is large enough to contain two arrays and perform an optimized copy. Now, from src folder, open mass.funk.ts file. Here, we need to add a new method called float32arrayconcat. You can see this function takes two float32array, first and second, then combine these two array together. So you can use this function to combine two floating 32 arrays. Now we can save this file and close it. Next, we can reuse the same seeder code and the same surface.ts file. Here we have a surface.ts file. This is a common file used uh, to create different 3D surfaces. So we can use the same surface.ts file without any changes. Here we only need to make some changes uh, to the main.ts file from src folder open main.ts file. Here we need to replace its content with the new code. You can see here we first uh, introduce a, sur a simple surface and a parametric surface data function from surface data.ts file. And then we introduce sync, peak, clean bottle, and a William Kruger, as well as the floating 32 array concat, the functions from math func.ts file. And of course, we need to introduce create a surface with a color map, a method from surface ts file. Inside this create surface uh, function, we first generate our vertex data for four surfaces. You can see first the sink surface data, peak surface data, and claim bottle surface data, and a William Kruger surface data. It's a separate data for each surface. And then we call floating 32 array concat function to combine the vertex color and the normal data together. Here, we first combine sync and the peaks data. You can see vertex data, color data, and normal data. And then we combine clean bottle data. And uh, finally, we combine William Kruger data together. This vertex data, color data, normal data, contains the data from all the uh, four surfaces. And finally, we use this combined data as an input for this create surface with the color map function. So we call once of this function to create four uh, 3D surfaces. This code looks very simple because we can reuse the same program code, such as the seed code and the code in the surface.ts file. So here, the code looks very sim simple. Now we finish the modification to the main.ts file. We can now save this file. Up to now, we have finished all the programming. We can then run the following command on the terminal window, npm run prod to bind our TypeScript code. Okay, 
The bond file is created successfully. Now we can click the Go Live link here to open Cron Canary to view our 3D surfaces. Click this link. You can see from this page that even though all the objects are created under the same environment, we can still specify a different color map for each surface. You can see each surface has different color map here. Now we have completed this example. In next video, we will discuss how to create a different object in a single scene using different pipelines. Most examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical Web GPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com, you can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this video series. I also created a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.